All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to make a pillar, something like this one here. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> and I am using version 2.1. There will be a few uh, workarounds here that uh, I'll show you as I'm going along. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the lines here. And we'll use the circle from center. I'm in orthographic view. You can click the orthographic view. You can see the text up here. So sometimes you have to click it twice. Click and I'll drag out. And we're going to bring this down to number eight points. Then we're going to validate this. Um, just to follow along in the video, because we're going to be using Boolean, um, I'll just go ahead and do some adjustment here. And you can type in the same thing because. Boone will give you different results on different sizes. So if you want to follow along with the video and want the same results, we'll need to do that. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and get a copy of this. You can follow Command Viewer here. I'm going to show you what I'm pressing with hotkeys. Control C, Control V. And I'm going to grab this triangle and bring it up here and snap it here. And I'm going to scale it down. Um, we'll keep the ratio. I've had that selected. I don't know if I told you earlier. And we'll set this one to number five. All right. All right. Well, that's selected. We're going to go to the utilities. Then we're going to use this copy on support. We must be in selected object mode. Mode. Select here. Then we're going to select here. Now we're going to cycle through till we find one where they're all facing towards us. All right. Now, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but this clone needs to be on. Okay. So make sure the clone's on, uh, or else our boom is not going to work right. And once we get that done, for some reason we'll just go ahead and delete this, um, it, or else it won't work right. Even though if I drop it down in this group, it will not boom right. So we'll go ahead and uh, select here, and then we'll go to surface modeling, and there's going to be boom here, and we got this group selected. And we're going to boolean by selecting this uh, big square here. So I'll select over here. And we'll cycle through something like that. Okay? And what I'm looking here is I'm looking at how many points. I, if you look over here, this has got 40 points. I'm going to remember that here in a second. And because I'm going to be showing you a little tip. So we're going to hold the shift key, snap down here. We're just going to drag down here. I'm going to hold the control key and I'm going to drag up. Turn the transparency off. I know I want a little bit of hard edge here, so I'll hold the control key and just drag another one to about right. I guess that's close enough. Vertex modeling, then I'm going to close this hole here. Alright, All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the top view here. And I want to kind of blend this into a shape of going into a circle. So, we'll go to the lines tab, circle from center, and we'll click and drag out. Now remember the other one had 40 points, so let's make this 40 points. And we'll validate that. I'll hold the shift key to kind of snap it. So we'll go into the center and we'll scale it down something like this. All right. Go back to top view mode. Let's bring that to the top. And I want to bring this fairly close to this uh, the pillar on the bottom. I'm going to hold the control key and I'm just going to drag up a little bit something. Let's say about like that. Vertex modeling. We're going to close this bottom one here. turns red that indicates it is uh, close we're gonna go ahead and delete the previous curve we'll delete this curve that we don't need no more and the reason why I got these close together because I'm gonna be using the bridge tool and sometimes um, it's gonna twist because it is it's not gonna know where to connect to okay we got the same amount of points, but I'm going to try to fix that. So uh, we're going to control A this. It's going to select both of these. 
And what I'm going to do is go back into face mode and I'm going to select this face, shift click that face. And you want these two objects kind of close, you can pull them apart later. And we're going to use a bridge, and you can see it's twisted. We can fix that easily. We're going to loop this. Let's go to the top view mode here, and I'll adjust this around something. I think it's kind of close. All right, that looks good. All right, now that looks pretty good. Now, um, what I want to do is I want to, uh, I know this has got 40 uh, points. Now I want to kind of add a square to this, all right? So, let's go ahead in the top view mode here and we'll go into the lines tab. Now, we're going to select a square here, okay? We're going to drag the square out. I'm going to hold the shift key so it kind of snaps in the center of the, of the pillar axis. So they're lined directly in the center and I'll scale this to approximately right. I guess right there would be fine. Edge mode and control A. Select all the edges. And we're going to go to the lines tessellation. And you can see it jumped up to 8. Control A. And we're going to line tessellation. We went to 16. Control A. Line tessellations. We got 32. Now, if I do this again, it's going to jump more than 40. So I'll just prove a point here. Control A and line tessellation. Now we got 64. We don't need that many. So we want to get 40. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here. We got 32. So 33, 34, 35, 36. So you're right here. I think I count it right. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And we're going to line test like that. All right, now we got 40 points. Okay, we're going to bring this one close to the next, the pillar. We want to keep it kind of close because when we bridge it, it makes sure it kind of bridges pretty close to the previous edge, um, like this one close to down here. It kind of helps it a little bit, and when they're closer, we can bring them these. We can drag these apart if we want to later. Hold the control key, edge mode, vertex modeling, and we're gonna go ahead and close this bottom one here. And let's go ahead and do the same one for this one here. I'm gonna close that one. All right. Then control A to select both of these. I got all three. There's must be all the curve. We'll get that curve out of here. Let's do that again. And then we're going to go ahead and go to face mode. Select that face. And we're going to select this face here. As you can see right here. All right. Then we're going to bridge these together. So, and of course, it's crooked again. So, not a problem top view mode here and we're gonna twist this around to where I think I'm gonna eyeball it a little bit and what I'm doing here is um, I've been messing with this earlier so I kind of know how to square this up you can see all the edges all flow from one edge flows into the other then all the way up to here this is good edge flow you can see it's good geometry and when I do this I'm gonna go to top view mode here um, to straighten this up, if you look right about right in here, it's going to be hard to see in a video. It's got that little jag right here, and all I'm trying to do is if I can twist this far enough, should be able to uh, get that jag out. There it goes. All right, now it's kind of straight. You don't see that jag down there. You'll see it's kind of straight there. All right, I do want to add a couple edges. Um, like I said, if we wanted to bring this up, we could, you know, bring this up if we wanted to. Alright, I do want to add, let's say, let's loop this here. And we'll split this here a little bit right here. And we'll do the same for this one here. Get some subdivision level here and take a look. Turn the smoothing on. 
and we kind of got something like this. All right, not too bad. And like I said, we can adjust this one here if we wanted to bring this up. So if we want to just bring this up a little bit, we'll activate the transparency. And I want to grab a little bit lower, so let's try a little bit lower than that. Didn't get all the way around. Let's see. Uh, let's loop that. Hold the shift key and let's try this. There we go. And we can bring it up a little bit like that. And we get a little bit of subdivision. And it's looking a lot better. Okay. Now what I want to do, let's say I give it the subdivision of 1. I'm going to add some more geometry uh, by collapsing the DG here with one subdivision. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this top here. We're going to loop this. I'm going to hold the control key and scale this in since the keep ratios here are checked. I'll just empty this out, press enter key, and this will center it up. These will bunch these up, and I don't right now. I don't want any triangulars, but uh, I think a lot of times what happens in this version, it, it does it does go ahead and weld these points with it when it shouldn't be. So let's just see. Okay, it didn't that time. So let's go ahead and ring this, and then we're going to use this connect. It's going to split these right here. Let's double check this one more time. Yeah, we got some triangles here. So we'll just delete that and do this one more time. Control key. Alright, that looks good. Just to double check that one more time. Not being too picky. Okay, now the triangles are gone. Um, I could uh, subdivide and collapse DG when it has triangles, and that will still that'll turn them into quads anyway, so not a big problem. Okay, I want this a little bit softer here, so I'll loop that, and I'll use this little bevel here, and uh, I'll zoom way in. And uh, let's give it a little bit right about there. Let's give it some subdivision. All right, looks pretty good there. All right. Okay, when I get to this point here, I bumped it one more, collapse the DG. Then what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, we're going to mirror this to the side. Alright. Then we're going to go ahead and weld. And weld all. Now, you can see now it's one object. And these two points, the two halves are touching. So, this was in the middle. And they're actually, the, it actually welded the points also. And if they weren't touching, it would weld two separate objects. But they... Just because you weld does not mean it welds the points. Alright, at this point in time, if we want to squish this thing or whatever, we could grab this cube here. And we can scale it or whatever like that. Alright. And let's go ahead and bring this up just a little bit here. And let's say I wanted to do something. Uh, I wanted to get a little different here. We can actually use this uh, option to twist here. It's got a bit of quite a bit of geometry, so it's going to take a few seconds for it to work right. And we can twist it like that. And you could have a twisted pillar. And let's give it some chrome. Let's change this here. And you could have something like that, and if you know. If you like that, that's fine. If not, we'll just control Z that. I kind of like the twist action. Just control Z that. Or you can have that one there. And it's got good edge flow and it's good geometry. And uh, that's going to be the end of this tutorial here. And thank you very much.